Welcome, Welcome to, to the EK Show. Okay, y'all. So we're gonna be cooking today taco lasagna. I don't know if y'all ever heard it. Very simple. It's banging. It's banging. But this time, they gonna be assisting me, and we're gonna do it together. So yeah, stay tuned. So baby finna cut up these peppers and I got all my seasoning right here. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm seasoning with the ground beef. I got some Tony's Creole seasoning, complete seasoning. If y'all don't have this, gotta get it. Can't use a lot, but yeah. Slap your mama. I know y'all heard of that. <laughs> onion powder garlic powder some black pepper paprika and parsley and that's just going to be for the top once i put all the cheese on it i like how you cut them peppers there thank you baby <laughs> To any other guys out there, y'all like taco lasagna? If y'all do, tell us what y'all put in y'all's, how y'all make it. Okay, y'all, so the ground beef is over there, drained and everything. I put aluminum foil in my pan because y'all know that pan be scraping and all that. I ain't got time. Got sour cream, got salsa. The tortillas, I got the small ones. That's what I like to use. But it's up to you or what you want to like to use. I have the Mexican cheese. I don't know if y'all can see. Let me hold it right. Okay, there we go. Ooh, got the peppers all cut up and the onions. Yes, sir. So I sprayed the aluminum for with some uh, Pam, just so you know the tortillas won't stick. So I'm placing them down, and you can use whatever size you choose. This is my preference for my pan. So this is what we do first. Okay, y'all. So I'm gonna put some of this salsa. Forgot to turn the light on, sorry. Not overdo it, but just sprinkle it a little bit. Not too much. Just a little tad bit. This is the ground beef with all the peppers. This has been sauteed. And all we're gonna do is just layer it. Look, y'all, it don't have to be perfect, okay? Just put some meat on there. Okay, so this layer is done. We're gonna dump some more tortilla sauce on there spread that out and i'm gonna also put probably like two or three depends on how you're like how you like sour cream about two or three um scoops of that we like sour cream over here so um, i'm gonna do about three so we're just gonna mix that up like that. Like I said, guys, don't have to be perfect. Then after that, we're gonna sprinkle cheese on there. Uh, I love cheese, so guess what? It's to you all liking. Add 
after that, you're gonna put another layer on there. Like I said, I use the small ones. And I use this brand, if y'all didn't see it in the beginning. And I'm just gonna repeat the steps, guys. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm just gonna repeat the steps. Gotta add the cheese. So all I'm doing now is just putting paprika on there on the top, give it that color. Y'all know about that color. If y'all some cookers, you already know about that color. Um, and I'm also going to put some parsley on top. Oh, I always do that, y'all. I always put more than what it need to be. I like to sprinkle, but that was more like a pour. Put it in the oven for 375. I do 20 minutes, but however you like yours, it's, it is what it is. This is how it looks when it has been out the oven. And I'm telling y'all, it's so good. I've already, you know, had this or tried this before, so it's delicious. Gotta try. Once you try it, if you try it, let us know. Thank, Thank you guys, guys for watching. watching. Make, Make sure, sure you like, like comment, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Turn the post notifications on. Thank you.